Happy Friday, everyone. Welcome to Weekend Wind Down with Nancy. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Nancy Ganselgorfer. I am a business coach helping creative entrepreneurs uh, take action in their lives and grow their businesses to the next level. And I do this show every Friday. Hi, Helen. Hi, Caden. Uh, it's called Weekend Wind Down. And today I'm drinking, oh, hi, Jossie. I am drinking Roanoke Vineyard, which I think is what I was drinking last week. But this one is a Cabernet Franc. And let me just, I'm not big on complaining because, you know, as a business coach, you're not supposed to complain. Or as a coach, you're not supposed to complain. But let me tell you, I almost did vodka throwdown this afternoon because I have been out shoveling intermittently all day and I'm still not done. So anyone here on the East Coast can understand and I, my sympathies go out to you guys. Um, literally an hour ago, I was laying on the ground crying because I killed my back and, and there's still more to shovel and I have help too. So uh, anyway, today is a call-in show. I love, love, love doing it this way. So I hope you guys aren't going to leave me hanging um, while uh, you more of you are coming on or deciding whether you're going to come on camera with me. I'd love you to tell me, tell everyone who you are, what you do, and how you do it. Hi, Chastity. Um, and then I'll give you the opportunity to tell everybody what you do. And if you have any business questions for me, that's what I'm here for. I'm actually going to answer business questions live for you if that is what you choose to do with your time, or you can just come on and chat with me because I hate to drink alone. So hold on, let me take a sip. Hi, John. So again, this is Weekend Wind Down. I love this. This is the favorite time of my week. So let's see, does anyone, let's see who's actually watching from their phone. Because if you're watching from your phone, you can actually come live with me. So should I put somebody on the... Oh, Kaden wants to come on. All right, so I'm going to be bringing people on and off. We'll give you five to ten minutes each. Let's let's see. My son wants to come on quickly. He just moved, so maybe he wants to say sorry, Mama. I wasn't here to help you shovel. <laughs> Let, let's let's see. Hey. hey, I hope you want to say sorry, Mom. I wasn't here to help you shovel. Sorry, Mom, I wasn't here to help you shovel. <laughs> How are you? Good. I figured I'd, I'd start off the weekend wind down by popping in. Okay. So do you have a, um, you have a business question, even though we talk business all the time? Oh, you're having your beer. Oh, that's so disgusting to me. Um, Miss Vodka Throwdown. Um, <laughs> yeah, so, <laughs> so I figured I'd introduce myself and say what I do um, I help, um, online entrepreneurs build sales and influencer pages, um, to help them make sales and, and get an online presence. Okay. Right. Yeah. But so we want to put that in English for everyone who doesn't understand what that means. Caden builds landing pages where people put in their name and email address in order to get your free something. He also builds landing pages for webinars, sales pages if you're selling something, um, and, and creates really extensive what they call funnels in this online world, where you're bringing your client in at one uh, offer, like a free something, and then he can build a whole bunch of platforms where then you can make them into buying clients. Does that make sense? Yeah, Definitely. Um, and I wanted to share, like, we did a page for you this week, and the first day it pulled in over over a thousand dollars. Yeah, and that was super exciting. It was super exciting. You know what? I love um, I love the landing pages that you build. That's your job to train on how to do them in a way that is got all the information in there that people want to see and can answer all their questions. So that when they get there, they're like, you know what? I definitely want this. And that's, that's. Yeah. Perfect. And what's great. What's great about a, a, like a landing page or a sales funnel versus a static website is that it's the difference between giving your consumer a guided tour through the experience you want them to have versus having them be able to pop around all throughout your website. So it's kind of like you're giving them one entry point 
and then you're taking them step by step through exactly what you need them to do so that they have the experience that most suits what you want them to have. Yes. So in the case of an interior designer, and then I'll do other online entrepreneurs, you can turn your opt in for your free giveaway on your website or something you post on Facebook and social media. You can say here, opt in and get my free um, PDF on the 10 reasons why you should never do something with your window treatments (laughs) or whatever you're giving away. And once they opt into that, you can literally then lead them to a page that says, um, would you like a free consult phone consultation with me? Opt in here and it'll bring you to my calendar. And once they get there, you can actually even give them a discounted in home visit before you even get on the phone with you. And if they put their credit card in, then you know they're actually a buyer because they've given their credit card already. So it's almost like pre qualifying somebody that uh, you can tell they're, you know, they're, they're willing to spend money for your services. Did I give that as a good example? Absolutely. And, and for any business owner, I think the money is really in the email list. Because uh, if, if Facebook shuts down tomorrow, or if Instagram shuts down tomorrow, you know, you don't have anybody's contact information. That's but true. if you collect people's email addresses, you own that for the entirety of your business. And obviously, people can unsubscribe. But if you know how to email market properly, um, you really can can jumpstart any business and you really have to. Right, right. And that's part of what I work on with my entrepreneurs. Grow your email list. How can you do that? How can you use social media to do that? How can you use collaborations to do that? And um, Caden is the tech genius behind growing the list and turning them into, you know, people who are warm leads for you. And that's really what you want. So absolutely. I'm so glad you came on first. Want to come home and shovel? Yeah. <laughs> you're, <too far. laughs> no. you're too far away. Um, so thank you so much. Does anyone else want to come on? I see there's a lot of new faces here. I'm so excited. Or let's see, you can, I'm hop off. if you, well, I'll, I have to take you out. Otherwise you mess up my broadcast. Okay. Hold on. Thanks. Bye, Caden. If anyone Bye. wants to get away, Caden, tell them how to find you. If you, if they need um, tech. You can, you can find me at gansman.com or you can email me at Caden at gansman.com and I could uh, help you out. Perfect. Okay, great. Thanks, dear. I will talk to you later. Bye. Bye. So I hope everyone understood what we were talking about with how you create when you have your email list and then you can actually create what they're calling like a funnel where you're bringing somebody in. And I hate that name, but it's basically you get a lead magnet uh, like you're giving them a free PDF or a free ebook, a free tip, and now they're in your system as an email address. But from there, from that first contact, you can offer them other things afterwards automatically without even getting involved, which is kind of cool. So who wants to come on camera with me? Darcy, can I entice you to get on camera with me? I see you're from your phone. Uh, if anyone wants to come into the broadcast, at the bottom of your screen should be a little camera button and you can press it or I can just invite you in. So, oh, you know what I forgot to do? I don't know if Caden's still watching. Caden, can you share on my business page and in my private group, Actionable Entrepreneurs? And let me bring in Darcy. Oh, what happened? I lost. Chastity wants to come in too. Okay, let me bring in Darcy first. I don't think I did it right. It says adding, and Chastity, you'll be next. <laughs> <Woo-hoo>! <laughs> I already hear your assistant in the background laughing. <laughs> Cheers! Oh, yay! <laughs> it's weekend wine time. I normally drink Chardonnay, but I can't get out of my driveway, I so normally there you drink go. red wine, but it's all we have in the office, uh, so see, we what to do. That's what happened. So, welcome, Dossy. <laughs> Tell everyone what you do and how we know each other and all that fun stuff. Oh my gosh. Well, how we know each other is that you've been rocking my world for the last six months. Aw, thank <laughs> Actually you. Actually beyond before that. So yes, major shout out to you, Nancy. Thank you. Uh, Nancy, G, you, we call you Nancy G in the office, just so you know. It's why? Like, you don't it, want to say Ganza Coffer? I don't know why. <laughs> no, well, Nancy G just has a nicer ring to it. I think it's just kind of like, you know, you sound like you're going to throw down or something. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to change all my branding by tomorrow. <laughs> 
give one credit. Oh, <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> um, and I'm, you know, Sarah's riding shotgun over here. So Hi, Sarah. Here. Hi. <laughs> How are you? Good. How are you? I'm good. <laughs> um, so I actually was doing my business in words, as you taught us earlier. So I am a detailed driven, fun, loving, project focused interior designer working with busy professionals, namely mm, empty nesters and bachelors. Um, and we focus on gut renovations and turnkey design projects. Um, our main focus, aside from creating chic and urban interior interiors for them, is to take all the anxiety, pressure, um, worry off of their plates and um, run their job like a well-oiled machine and present to them a beautiful project in the end. What a huge benefit you are to people who are busy. You know, I can see you working for busy executives. If I was redoing my house instead of selling it, I'd hire you to go just deal with the whole thing. <laughs> like, and, I, and literally, you probably could even pick everything for me because that's the kind of person I am. <laughs> <laughs> this is kind of what I like. And I just want to, you know, those, um, what are those shows on TV where you just leave for six weeks and you come back and everything's done? Yeah. That's I what that. I want. Yes. Do you do that? Yes. Yes. Well, maybe not six weeks. I, I shouldn't say that. Not, no, not in six weeks. That's just crazy town. No, it takes yeah. a lot longer than that. But no, we, um, that's actually one of my, um, that's one of my sweet spots is we, I've, we've done uh, four or five of them now where literally the, the clients have rolled in with their toothbrushes and their, their clothes and their set. Oh, I love that. You know what? I'm... Kitchens or bathrooms, everything. I can... Just quickly, I'm looking down. Yes, I'm just going to answer some questions. Hi, everyone. As you're coming on, I see a lot of new faces. I'm here with Darcy. Um, <laughs> and yes, you can. Right now, as a matter of fact, anyone who's watching who thinks this is going to be beneficial and wants to share on their personal pages, they can do that. Sharing is caring, as Joe Hecker <laughs> says, um, who taught me how to do this live and call-in show. So yes, you can, you can share it once you're on it, but you have to share from your computer um, but when you come live with me, your entire Facebook friends list gets notified that you're live. And that's part of what is the beauty of this. So um, they get to hear you talking live about what you do. So anyway, Darcy, any questions for me, even though I know we work together? Oh, my goodness. Well, I'm sending you, you're going to be getting a list from me of things <laughs> that we are going to be covering in the next little bit here. Okay. Um, any questions so far? Uh, you don't want to pull one off your list and just put me on the spot. Um, I'm going to put, yeah, I'm going to put you on the spot because you of something you said the other day. Uh Oh, I know. Cause I think, I think you might be a better teacher than a doer on this one. Personal care. Do you what about it? Time, do you schedule a lot of time for yourself? <laughs> So, as some people might know from the interviews they've listened to, I used to be a personal fitness instructor, and I exercised every single morning religiously for, tw well, I maybe skipped one day a week or two days a week sometimes, for 25 years, an obsessive compulsive exerciser with my ex-husband. Um, we both would go every day. And now, not so much. So, what I've been doing, because I put it on my page um, I still like to exercise, but I don't schedule it in enough because I'm building my business. So I started doing literally on YouTube every morning. I Google 10 minute meditation. I think it's, mm -hmm. I, I think that's what I Google. I, well, I YouTube it and I get all these different 10 minute meditations and I've been doing that every morning. Oh, and that's a good one. You know what? I never did consistent yoga or Pilates or meditation. And I've always tried it over the years. And I feel like now at this age, that is what I need. Not that I'm old. I mean, I'm 53. Have you tried headspace? What? Have you tried headspace? I've tried headspace. I've tried a whole bunch of different apps. Part of the apps that I, I stopped Delete paying it. for. <laughs> Cause I'm like, Oh, that you was saved such a me so much money today. I was just telling anybody out there who hasn't watched Nancy's, um, I don't know where it is. On it's your an page actionable <laughs> entrepreneur private Facebook group. So if you're an entrepreneur, you can ask to join actionable entrepreneurs. I'll let you in. And we were doing a 
five day get your life organized challenge. So go ahead, yep. tell them what I saved. No, so I was going through my American Express bill today and I was like looking at the thing going, what is this? And I looked it up and I go, oh my, it was a, um, a, a monthly subscription to Audible, which I do like Audible, especially being in New York and you're on the subway and there's something that you can listen to besides a thousand <laughs> podcasts that I listen to. <laughs> and I noticed that um, I had six credits. So every month I was getting billed if, for, for a book. So I had six months worth of books. So I went on, I just downloaded six books and then I canceled my subscription. It was fourteen ninety five a month. I've got more books now on my, on my, you. and then my cell phone bill, I was, it, it wasn't, um, it was on my cell phone. It, whatever you had said triggered, look at, triggered me to think about looking on my cell phone bill, even though it's not necessarily my American Express bill. Right. And I looked at it and it was, oh my God, stupid, stupid charges that were not supposed to be on, or I should have taken care of, I should say. Spoke with the loveliest person on AT&T. She gave me a three month credit for something. Oh, and nice. We redid my entire plan. And now I'm like saving, I think I'm saving $55 a month. That's incredible. And you know what? Yeah. That's, that's uh, even mine, I think, right now, I have unlimited data. And we're looking to see over the next month or two, if I don't use over their highest data plan, I can lower mm -hmm. mine as well. So yeah. it really helps. So yeah, one, of the, one day of the challenge was to pull out two or three months worth of your credit card, debit card or credit card bills, wherever you put your business expenses, but certainly pulling out your personal expenses helps also. And circle everything that you really shouldn't be being charged for anymore. And yes, I found a gym membership on there that I no longer use. <laughs> it was a cheap one though. Um, and what else did I find on there? There was some, oh, there was an app on there that I loved. It was an Instagram app. And when I first did it, I was constantly Instagramming using this app. And I thought, okay, that lasted four days and I'm not interested anymore. And I'm still paying nine ninety nine a month. Mm -hmm. So, so yeah. And I, and I still need to look at my other credit cards. So good. I'm glad that yeah. saved there's one, there's one other charge that's on there that I was looking at and I go, I'm paying for this. I'm going to allow myself 30 days to, because I, I love this, um, community, if you will, that I'm paying for, but I haven't utilized it in the last few months. But I'm like, Ooh, I either need to get on board with it back again, or I need to cut it off because it's yes. you know, another expense. But now you're aware of it. You know, I love, yes. I love how we all, and I do it too. This is how I came up with this challenge. I thought I have to challenge myself. I love how I don't look at my credit card bill sometimes and I just pay it. And then six, seven months later, I'm like, Oh my God, like I could have, if I just had the guts to look at it, knowing it was going to cause me a little bit more work to, to delete something or unsubscribe to something. Um, but it really does add up. That's what happened on my, my cell phone bill. Cause I, there was a, there was something on there for when we had been traveling internationally and I thought it had expired that for the month that we were. And then I looked at my bill recently. I go, Oh, well this should have, this should not be on here. I haven't used this in several months. I thought it was from uh, April of 2017. <laughs> the woman says, no, it's from March of 16. Oh, my God. <laughs> so clearly, she goes, you haven't looked at your bill in a long time. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm glad I was Oops. able to prompt you to look at the bill. Yeah, I'll probably do that Get Your Life Organized Challenge every quarter because yep. that's what it really takes. And I'll probably add, I have my boyfriend putting together um, how to clean out your computer. Oh, that's, mm. I know he's got to do a video for me though. Cause like, I know how to clean out my downloads and obviously mail clean out your email was one of our challenges, but I want him to do a video where I could actually, or sit here live with me in actionable entrepreneurs. Well, I, I will say Nancy, I think the one thing that, that you gave, you gave like almost permission, which I think was so beneficial. And as a good reminder is do like, a, don't sit there and be go, Oh my God, I have to go through all this today or for like do 15 minutes of it or do an hour of it. Like just block out your time and, and knock it out. And yes. then, you know, because otherwise it's just too overwhelming. The photo one, was that from yesterday or today? That's a <laughs> that little today. It's, yeah. It's a little, that's going to be a little bit overwhelming, but if you can just kind of go, okay, I'm going to do 15 minutes right now, then it's you're golden. Exactly. Like I, 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 I set up the challenge so you would do an hour a day, but break it down into 15 minute intervals if you have to. And like you did, which was perfect. You put it on your calendar for, I think it was Tuesdays. You said, mm -hmm. I'll put it on my calendar for Friday and I'll block out yep. time, which was perfect. So thank yep. you so much for talking to me.
tell everyone where they can find you. Uh, Darcy Heather, D-A-R-C-I-H-E-T-H-E-R.com. Yeah, for all your interior design needs in all Manhattan, needs. especially. <laughs> <laughs> so, all right. Thanks, Darcy. I will talk to Thank you, you soon. Okay. Okay. Bye. bye, everyone. Okay. So, let's see. I know I, I'm not keeping up on, I think, Chastity wanted to come in next. Chastity, are you still here? Let's call you in. Okay, should be adding Chastity. So everyone, while you're waiting for Chastity, share it. Share this broadcast if it's going to be helpful to other people, um, letting them know that you are here. And hopefully Chastity's not having problems connecting. Oh, it looks like she's coming in. Hey. Hey, how are you? I'm okay. I did not expect to do this. So, um, yeah. <laughs> So tell, tell, tell me, you're new for me or to the broadcast, I think. Tell everyone what you do and where's your accent from? Where do you live? Um, okay, so I was uh, born and raised in Louisiana. I have lived in the northern New Jersey, New York City area for almost 19 years. And um, I am a elite green status unique presenter. Okay, which does Can I show what? My page? Say that again. Can I share the broadcast? Of course you can share the broadcast. That's the goal. Okay, let me find I have to do it from my computer, right? Yep. Yep. So when I go Okay, go ahead. When I go live, I automatically share to my it says you have to be live on your phone in order to come into the broadcast or to do a broadcast like this. And you um then have to share it on your business page or if you have a private group you can share it in your private group so this is a great way to get your the word out there about what you do and spread the word so tell us a little bit more about what you do and then do you have a business building question for me okay yeah give me one second i'll share it okay. uh, looking i i completely stumbled this was yeah very impromptu i'll share it and uh then i will We'll talk. Impromptu see. is good. Sometimes if you think about things too much, you get nervous. Oh, no, I'm not nervous. I do lives all the time. Oh, good for uh, you. So, um, no, I'm not really sure what you do, so I'm not really sure about any questions for you, although I'm sure. Um, well, how did you find me, Chastity? Because I'm a business coach, and I coach online entrepreneurs, uh, you know, brick and mortar interior designers, on the other online coaches and consultants. Um, really, so many different types of entrepreneurs come to me to help grow their businesses. So, how did you find my broadcast? Um, apparently, we're Facebook friends. You are, you're one yeah. of my close and personal 4,900 Facebook friends. Yes, <laughs> hey. yes. Yes, uh, I am. No, so um, the notification came up that you were live, and whenever someone is live, I like obviously love to see what they're talking about. You never know what you're gonna learn. This is you know, true. You take a person, and you are the sum of that. And I saw your son, and that was great. That was interesting. And um, you said if anybody wants to go live, so. All right. So uh -huh. tell us again and talk a little slow. Tell us what you do. Oh, okay. I am uh, an elite green status unique presenter. If you've ever heard of unique, the company. I have, okay. but give us a little background on it. Okay. It is, we just turned five years old. So it's a relatively new cosmetic company and skincare company. Uh, we were voted the number one cosmetic company in the world the fastest growing in the history nice i have heard of you guys and what is your primary method of marketing your products facebook social media okay and what's the trick for you like what's your best uh, uh where have you gotten the most leads from doing what on facebook uh Honestly, just being consistent with my business, uh, showing up, you know, I do, I do lives. I, you know, pose. I, again, I just show up. I'm consistent. People know that I'm there and that I'm passionate about it. And I don't, I do tend to talk a little fast because I am, I, I love what I do and I'm very passionate about it. 
So I get a pretty excited talking about it. Uh, yeah, just people see that I'm really passionate about it and I believe in it. So huh, there must be something to it. Yeah. If she's this serious about it for this long. And how do you build relationships? Genuine, organically, I absolutely, um, I do not care what any coach tells me, what any upline tells me in terms of just, I'm not going to just reach out to a stranger and tell them I love, oh my gosh, I, I love, you know, like I've had other unique presenters um, reach out to me or other, um, from other um cosmetic companies you know absolutely love your photos um you look like you would be great for this like um I, uh, thanks because i own <laughs> right <laughs> that's what i'm doing how long have you been doing it um three years excellent and it's making you a good yeah. living you love it oh I, I, yeah good and I for you it. isn't it awesome so, working from home especially having children i and I don't know where you're located. Um, it probably says, oh, Nassau County. Okay. Oh, Long Island. I'm a Long Island girl. Yeah. Oh, husband's family's from there. Okay. So, um, yeah, um, been snowed in. And I just cannot imagine, like, getting, receiving the notification that we have a snow day, but yet still having to go to work. And we're trying to, the moms were struggling to find child care. Like, I, I can't even imagine. Yeah, it is definitely yep. rough. So, Chastity, tell everyone how they can find you. You can find me on, at Chastity Glazer on Facebook, or my unique website is I Need the Lashes oh, I dot com. I like that. The Lashes dot com, and we have a full everything cosmetics, skincare. If you're not a if you don't wear makeup, we have skincare. Um, so I can, you know, happy to answer any questions that you have. Well, thank you so much. You're my first unique guest on my Wednesday, my Wednesday, my Friday weekend wind down. I got all my W's crossed today. So thank you so much for joining us. I'm going to bring you, put you out and have someone else. And um, please, everyone, share this broadcast if you're, uh, liking what you hear. I'm here to answer questions and who wants to come on next. So Chastity, thank you. It's so nice to meet you face to face. Thank you for having All right. me. Have a good one. You too. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. All right. I know somebody else had asked to come on. I don't remember who you were. Let's see. Okay. We got Betsy here. Allison, did you ask to come on? I know if you're watching from your phone, from your phone, you can actually be a guest on the broadcast. So let me know. I'm here to bring you on. You can say what you do. Uh, you know, it's basically who you are, who you help, and how, you know, I should say how you help, um, and where people can find you. And then also, I'll answer any business questions for you have as a business coach. This is what I do all day long. Okay, Allison is coming on. Okay, so I love Allison. She's the only person with a thicker Long Island accent for me, and I love her accent. <laughs> okay, I think she's coming. I know she came on last week. In the meantime, if you haven't joined my group, Actionable Entrepreneurs, please do so if you are an entrepreneur. Um, I'm trying to read messages, bring people in. I'm all over the place. Hi, Luann. Okay, Allison, I didn't see you come in. Let's see, where'd you go? Oh my goodness, now I lost you all. Hold on. Okay, it says Allison's adding now. Hi, Luann, can't stay to watch now, but I saw this alert and wanted to send you, but oh, thank you. Love Luann Nagara. Everyone listen to her podcast if you're an interior designer, a well-designed business. Okay, I don't know what happened to Allison. I keep inviting her in, but she's not coming in. Does anyone else want to come in and chat with me, or you just want me to chat with myself, which I can do and get you guys. I think a lot of you are watching from the um, – are you on your phone, Allison? I think you are. And 
if you're not coming on, maybe you turn off your airplane mode, but make sure your Wi-Fi is on, and maybe that'll help, and make sure you're in a good Wi-Fi zone. Uh, okay, one more time. So one of the exciting things I did this week was to do... It keeps disappearing. Um, I did a webinar for IV Mock. IV is a interior designer project management software. Um, yes, I am still offering the special that we had from IV webinar. Maybe Kaden, if you're still watching, you can throw that in the chat. Um, so for very, very first time clients of mine that they've never spoken to me before and they want to do a consultation with me, I'm offering $200 off of a 50-minute consultation. And it was an amazing webinar. Um, ooh, I got to think about that one, Darcy. Um, so I did a webinar, Ivy. I called Ivy, right? So I teach my clients always try to look for collaborations, approach people. Like, can we do a joint webinar together? Can I do a presentation in your showroom? Um, can we do something together? Because together, then you have obviously expanded your network. So I called Ivy to ask them to do a joint webinar with me. And they ended up turning it around on me and going, no, we want you to do a webinar for us. So... I threw together some slides on one of the lessons that I love to learn. And by the time I was going live, 590 people had, oh my God, I just got scared. The door to the room I'm in opened by itself. And I think it's the cat. Um, I guess I didn't close it all the way. Scared the daylights out of me. So anyway, 590 people had registered to attend the webinar. It was um, teaching a, a way to attract your ideal clients week after week. And it's an exercise I call Your Business in Words. Uh, and 250 or 260, I think, were actually live on the webinar, which was so rewarding. And I offered this special deal, which I'm offering in January. I don't know how long I'm going to be able to offer it because literally – uh, 11 people got on my calendar to do uh, a 50 minute consultation and some of them will turn into ongoing clients which I you know I'm so thrilled about as I have my one-on-ones and then I'll be forming a group so um, that was really thrilling and then I got a personal thank you from Lee from Ivy saying that as of yesterday morning they had 650 people opt in to the, listen to the webinar so that was so rewarding for me okay now I have a cat crawling up a carpeted wall and a dog barking underneath it so oh it's a little crazy over here so okay Allison that did not work for you I'm on my phone but haven't ever done live Julie I've been avoiding it. Maybe I should try. All right, Julie, let me try to bring you in. And let me just go back. What's your top New Year's advice to grow your business? Okay, here's my top New Year's advice, Darcy, and for everyone who's listening, make a three-month plan that includes three things that you want to do to grow your business. And I know it's so hard because we want to do so much. So have you wanted to start a blog or have you wanted to get more consistent with your Facebook posts or do you want to grow your Instagram? Choose two or three max and don't get caught chasing shiny objects and stick to it, right? Consistency, right? Like my last guest said, consistency is really the key to growing your business. Okay. I think I'm adding. Oh, hi, Julie. Hi. How are you? <laughs> I'm okay. How are you? Good. This is your first time doing a joint Facebook Live or your first time doing a Facebook Live? First time doing a live, period. I've been saying I would do it and I haven't done it. <laughs> Good for you. You know what? You did it the perfect way. You didn't think about it. Excuse me. <clears throat> Maybe I need a sip of my wine. Are you drinking anything? Is it, It's weekend wine down? coffee still I, I need energy to finish my day so yeah. where are you located um I live in Bentonville Arkansas so um northwest Arkansas where Walmart's based is where I'm at so oh, nice okay yeah. yeah and how did you come to my broadcast here and what do you do for a living well I'm an interior designer um I also offer interior design business coaching and I watched your webinar the other day 
um, from Ivy because I'm an Ivy member and in their discovery section and stuff. Um, and I'd also heard a lot about you from Luann and I've listened to your podcasts and some of that stuff. So we we're in the similar industry. Awesome. So, yeah. so how long have you been coaching interior designers? Um, well, I've actually been, sorry, my arm's getting tired. Um, I have a tripod. A tripod. It makes <laughs> it easier. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I need one. Um, I've actually been mentoring and coaching designers for quite a few years. Um, I've been kicking myself because I don't know, four years ago, I started working on programs to offer it and just kept getting busy and not pursuing it like I should have. Um, so I was doing it one-on-one, -on -one, like face-to-face -face individually with people before it was a thing. Um, doing it live in person or doing it face-to-face -face like on Skype? Like face-to-face -face in person okay. um, with a lot of designers. Um, but then this, this year, well, last year, um, because I was one of like the inaugural Ivy members, I oh, nice. started connecting through their Facebook group and realizing, okay, I need to get out of my comfort zone here. I've been doing this a long time. There's questions people are asking that I can help them with. Because my big thing is um, the design industry, when I was becoming part of it, I mean, I've been doing design work for almost 20 years. So when I was getting involved, you know, women can be really catty. Designers can be really catty. Nonsense. And, uh, <laughs> yeah. And they don't share information like they should. I have my puppy with me. Oh, I have my puppy um, back here, but I'm not going to pick her up. She's happy. <laughs> she, she started moving on my lap. Um, but yeah, designers didn't want to share with me the information I needed to know. So I just naturally started mentoring because I had to learn the hard way things. And we didn't have the internet like we do now. Like I couldn't go look it up like people can now. So um, I'm loving the camaraderie that's building in a lot of these different Facebook groups and the sharing and the podcasts. And it's a ton of it. Because that's what it's about to me. So it, it really is. And you know what? It's funny because when you said that, definitely I was the president and vice, pre vice president and president of the Long Island chapter of the IDS. And that's one of the things when I walked in, now I was an art consultant, art framing and accessories. Mm -hmm. One of the things I loved about this group is that when you walked in, they were immediately, they weren't hiding their resources. They weren't, they were sharing. And I, and I, and as a, as a interior design um, professional, but not an interior designer, I used to say, you guys, you have to share me as a resource. I'm a resource because if you don't share me, I'm not going to be here for you when you want me because my business will go under. Um, and it just grew with this culture of sharing contractors and sharing wallpapers and sharing painters and, and just sharing knowledge of resources and how to do the, the old, the more seasoned designers would help the younger designers. And it, it's just such a nice environment. And now there's so many Facebook groups that are like that. Yeah, so many. It's hard to keep up. <laughs> it is hard to keep up. And you know what? I always say, like, my, my Actionable Entrepreneurs group is really all about business building. Um, as a custom residential interior designer, who would you partner with to speak to similar to the way you're partnering with Ivy? Hope that makes sense. Yes, Joanne, I'll answer that in a, in a second. Um, so I love to see the collaboration. I don't believe in competition because right. I believe that, you know what, you're a coach, I'm a coach. They're going to go to you if you, they relate to your message and your history. They're going to come to me if they relate to me. And that's who we want to work with, right? We don't want to work with people who right. are trying to force, force it. Right. Well, and the thing is, is what you offer um, and your, your niche for your coaching, even from what I've watched and listened to, is something I need. And it's different than what I offer. Right. Um, my coaching is more focused on learning the industry and client process from the, from the design aspect and my design experience, I don't have necessarily the business experience that you have. So it's a whole different, um, ball game. We all have something different to offer is my it, opinion. So it is a whole different ball game. Like I can't tell mm -hmm. somebody how to do the design, right. And how to measure and where the perfect resources are for designing. When people right. come to me, they, hopefully are pretty confident in their design side, but yeah, they don't come to me to learn the business of interior design. They learn to 
the business, <laughs> right. right? How to market themselves. I, I can help them close the sale, even though it is interior design, because I've witnessed many, many mm -hmm. faux pas over the years. And oh, coming sure. from, oh, oh my God, it, it really. <laughs> and, and like you, you're coaching for years before you hang a shingle as a coach. Yes. So, so yeah, we should do something yeah. together. We can I figure that out. To. Yeah, I would actually love to. I sent you an email today through one of your forms to have a session, but it sounds like you've gotten booked up. So you sent me an email or did you get on my calendar? It didn't let me go to your calendar. It just asked if I wanted to take advantage of your session. And so I filled out that info and then it didn't take me anywhere else. So I'll send you an email. Yeah, um, do that. Send me an email. Um, okay. yeah. So, cause I'm giving the $97 off for the 15 minute coaching session, um, as kind of an intro session. Um, mm -hmm. so if it didn't let you get on my calendar, just hop on my calendar. Um, you can find the calendar on my website. Oh, Caden's saying she'll, uh, wait, I'll reach Oh, He'll reach out to you and get you the link to my calendar. So set yourself okay. up with a 30 minute uh, conversation with me. So thank you so much, That's but tell everyone where they can find you. Okay, so my um, business name is Elon Creative, um, and so my web address is Elon, E-L-A-N, creative.co. It is truly .co, not .com. Um, currently, I'm breaking rules of what I tell people, but my website is a generic house site at the moment, but within the next week, it should no longer be so. Um, so long story to rebranding and all that jazz, but elancreative.co. And um, of course, on Facebook, Elon Creative is my um, Facebook page. So excellent, love to anybody. And thank you so much for getting me off of my comfort zone. <laughs> yeah, we got to get you on live more often. It's really, yeah. guys, when it's a perfect way to build your visibility, which is really what it's all about these days. People want to know you, want to hear your voice, want to know what you're all about, want to know what you look like, good or bad, because mm -hmm. none of us are perfect. And um, you don't want to be perfect because people don't relate to perfection. That's one of my, that's my word for the year is acceptance because I have too high of a perfectionist streak. And so I tend to not put myself out there because I'm waiting for it to be perfect. So this was good to do today. Oh, good. So. I'm so glad you did. Yes. Perfectionism will stop your success in its tracks. It really yeah. will. Um, so yeah, I've come on in my group. If, are you in my group? Actionable Entrepreneurs? I joined today. Okay, great. You'll see yeah. me come on like ponytails, gray hair, no makeup. <laughs> I'm a little, I'm a little more daring in the private group. Um, but we hit 400 members today, which is so exciting. That's awesome. Yeah, it was really exciting. So I can't wait for us to talk, Kate, and we'll send you my calendar. And um, hopefully we'll chat next week. Sounds great. Have a Thanks great so weekend, much. Julie. Bye. Thanks. Bye. Oh my God, this is such a great broadcast. I'm so excited. So many new people. Let me just quickly look down and say, again, sharing is caring. As Joe Hecker would say, if you could share this broadcast on your page, I appreciate it. It gets everyone more exposure. And that's really what it's all about, guys, visibility. So um, people chatting with each other, which I love. I got people messaging me private. Uh, Marty says, word of mouth referrals are how we are successful. And I would imagine that is true for any industry. Mentoring and pro bono work may be, and I can't see the rest from my phone. I'm sorry, Marty. But of course, you know what? Your presentation to the world and how you treat your clients are, it's so important, right? Your reputation precedes you in any conversation. Um, and people are going to think of you if, just closing out a couple of screens. Um, people are going to think of you when they have a referral, right? This is why you want to have your what you do and how you do it really clear, your business and words, which is what I teach people as one of the first lessons. Um, Tom Gray said, Julie is an excellent interior designer. Love that. Marty said, I'm going backwards now, guys. Nonprofit organization like ours, zero budget and plethora of organization facility need really need help. Yeah. I'm going to go back and read all the message after the broadcast, guys. I always do just in case uh, I don't get to everyone. Okay. So, Joanne, I wanted to go back to this one. This is the one I was looking for. As a custom residential interior designer, who would you partner with to speak to? So, depending on where you're located, if you have any 
high end stores in your area or showrooms that are also open to the public. Um, you can do uh, presentations at their place where they email their list and they say, um, uh, hey, we have an interior designer coming to make a presentation on window treatments, on bathroom redesign, on kitchen redesign, and all kinds of different topics. Somebody wants to come in. Let me see. Oh, Allison's ready to, to come in again. Let's try it out. Um, so you want to partner with them. If you want to do it like this, then the sky's the limit. Hi, Allison. Let me just finish Joanne's question, Allison, and then we'll chat. Sorry, sorry. I don't know how I got on. <laughs> oh, well, you're on. Um, so Joanne's asking, as a custom residential interior designer, who do you partner with to speak? Like similar to the way I'm partnering. So I'm going to tell you one. I digress for a moment. Other interior designers in your area, in your neighborhood. Two, you can do a call-in show answering residential interior design questions. You can do a show on accessories, a show on kitchens, a show on baths, a show on paint colors. The topics are endless. You're interior designers. Um, so similar to what I did with Ivy, where you're doing a presentation for them, you have to look for a place who actually does hosts webinars, um, or you can do it live. Right. I even say to interior designers, walk into a store, go live on your Facebook page, show them what you're finding, why you like it, why it's appealing, and throw something together right there at the store. Right? You just want to be interesting. You want people to see what you're doing and how your mind works. People don't hire you for information. They hire you for implementation. So I can say everything that I'm saying, and someone's writing it down right now, you know, writing down everything I'm saying, but when it comes down to, okay, but... How do I implement it? Like, what's a step-by-step? -step? And can somebody hold me accountable? So it's the same with an interior designer. You can give away a lot of information, but in the end, they are not interior designers, and they're going to get overwhelmed, and they're going to bring you guys in to finish the job. At least that's your ideal client, somebody who um, wants you to do the job, doesn't want to do it themselves. So, hi, Allison. Hey. <laughs> you look pretty tonight. I'm going out to dinner. Thank you very much. <laughs> Not that you don't always look pretty, but you look particularly pretty tonight. So are you going anywhere I special? My makeup, blew my hair dry. Oh, <laughs> nice. You're welcome, Joanne. Um, so tell me um, what you've been doing the last week. Have you been doing my Get Organized Challenge with any success? Yes, I, well, I did the uh, email thing and unsubscribing a while ago. I did that a while ago. And okay. And that, that was, took me forever and I still unsubscribe, but I don't need coupons from Bed Bath & Beyond anymore and all the other stuff I was getting. And it just makes it so much more manageable. I don't have to, I can delete but I think that a lot of the people on their iPhones, they, the kids, the, the kids, the younger generation use their iPhone and they just go delete, 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 delete. I do. Delete, I'm not delete. that, I'm not young, but I do. I'll sit there. Delete, 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 delete. Right. And then I'm like deleting and I might miss something that I really, really need to, to see. I don't want this nonsense anymore. I want what I need to see. I want to see it when I see it. I don't want anything else to, to interfere with that. And when I want a coupon from Bed Bath & Beyond, I'll go on their website. Exactly. When you really start looking at your email and everything you're getting, when you want it, you can go find it again, right? Yeah. One of my little tricks is that I, um, and it's not new. A lot of people do this. I have a Gmail account for me, for all my, when I chase shiny objects, like, oh, that looks good. That's free. I want to download that. And oh, I want to learn that. And I want to sign up for that. I'll do it all from my Gmail account. Instead yeah. of from my Nancy at Nancy because yeah, I, have five, I have five emails. Well, that's a lot. I have five. I, because two of them are AOL and some of them, are, cause I got started, you know, when my daughter was 13, which just a few years ago. No. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, I got, uh, so AOL doesn't accept everything. And then, so I have, I did a, two, a business person, a business Gmail and a personal Gmail. And now since I'm on the board with IDS, I tried to separate the IDS board emails and made another email address. Okay. So, you didn't, you didn't check with me on that one. Cause I would have told you consolidate. Yes. Yeah, so I have to, uh, 
I'm okay. It's just really the one other business one that I, I actually just kind of use that for really, really important um, correspondence that I don't want to get inundated. But I took control out of it. Yay. Um, and I am going to be cleaning up my office. That's the other thing. Woo, yeah, I made some no binders office. today. I, I'm following yeah. my own advice. I, I made my call log. I made a vir I'm the president of the virtual chapter of the IDS now. And I made a binder for that. Um, my vice president was looked so organized at our board meeting over Skype, uh, over Zoom, that she had a binder. I'm like, I want to do that. So I went and I did that. Elizabeth, I don't know if you're here, but you were my inspiration. And then I made a binder for clients because after my IV webinar, a bunch of people got on my calendar. And yeah, it's so important to stay organized. So important. And it's so easy to get unorganized, especially when you're, you're a designer. You kind of, I mean, I'm, I'm the designer that's kind of like all over the place. I don't, <laughs> I'm not that organized designer that everything is like very, I'm not. I'm an artist by nature. I grew up as an artist and I always wanted to be the crazy artist and I am, but now it, I do it with interior design and um, I'm just, I'm just a messy kind of person. So let me ask you something you have, let's say you have, you have three clients at the same time. I've seen interior designers have a bag for each to keep. No, I have a folder. You have, a, have folder. a folder. Okay. And then folders within the folders because I had my own uh, retail store. I had to develop pro um, ways to take care of eight projects at a time, 10 projects at a time. Wow. So I actually had somebody come in and assist me, um, give me some advice on how to do my ordering and how to keep track of it. Cause I do, you know, you have to get purchase orders out and acknowledgements back and sign off on things and get them back and receive things. So when you're doing that for a lot of projects, it was really important to get a system that worked. And I, I have a system. I have folders for everybody. Some folders are messy and some <laughs> folders are more organized. Okay. But for everybody has a folder. Everybody. Okay. So now <laughs> when you start to get really. Even, even if I just write it by hand, <laughs> I just put it in there. You know what? I'm a little old school with that too. But you know. Um, you can automate someday. Oh, Darcy says you crack me up. We need to have cocktails. We need to get the whole <laughs> New York, Long Island contingent together. Maybe I'll try to arrange that. That would be fun. Um, and, and actually have weekend wind down live. Live. Wow. I've got, the, I know I heard you say, oh, Allison has the, the big, the most New York accent. And I'm actually from Queens. I grew up in Queens. Well, so that's New York. Yeah, it's New York. And if I want to really turn it on, I can really turn it on. <laughs> <laughs> you want to talk? We'll go for coffee. You want to go for walk? I can walk and talk. Coffee, talk. coffee talk. Were we, we, we going to do that? You're going to start a live broadcast yourself, right? Yeah, we were going to call it something, you know, something Allison and alcohol and Allison. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have to fine tune that one. <laughs> a A A. <laughs> If we keep stuff like we said, if we keep stuff with Darcy, drinks with Darcy. That's right. Again, wind down with Nate. We will need oh, that. Exactly. That will be a problem. So, Allison, tell everyone how to find you. And I think, I don't, I, Leslie wants me to tag her in the broadcast. Um, tag friends when they appear. I'll tag you, Leslie, but I'd love you to come in if you're still here. Uh, so, tell everyone how to find you. Give them your business and words best as you can remember it, what you do, how you do it. Okay, well, I didn't. Do, I didn't do my homework, and my I took your six month plan, uh, six months business strategy, and how to um, do it all together. So I don't have my business in words. I don't have my elevator spe speech yet, but I've been thinking about it. And I am an interior designer. I specialize in kitchens and bathrooms, and I would like to be. I would like to say I'm an interior designer partner. Um, I think that's what really bothers a lot of people is they feel like, oh, I could do it. I could do it. And you really need to be a partner with your clients. It's more of being a partner because you're really doing their home, not my house. I'm using my expertise, but so I specialize in kitchens. and. Bathrooms. I like that, by the way, I'm just going to stop you. A second. I use my expertise and I partner with my clients in order to give them blah, blah, blah. That's actually a really oh. good. Oh, 
be writing this, this down. Is, this is recording. I don't know what minute we're at. Somewhere around. Okay. We've been on. It's 524 yeah. right now. So we're towards yeah. the end. Yeah. Go back. But yeah, I partner. I partner. And whatever I said, it was, yeah, it was good. Okay. So, yeah. And I, um, I, I am here on Long Island. I've done work. I've been in the business a long, long time. I know so many people and I have a lot of knowledge. I've been, I teach a couple of times at uh, New York Institute of Technology, their interior design certificate class. Um, and I'm looking to do some more teaching and, and new marketing for the new year that Nancy's program has really just given me such um, a huge, huge boost to Yay. my and a confidence in going forward. And you've given me the priceless advice that um, every business person, for now, how long you're in business, you really do need to keep on top of the things. And the biggest change is all of this Facebook Live and the social media. And I'm I have a hard time with that. It's not my thing. I but it has to be. So I've reached out for help and, uh, and you're doing great. Thank you. I've really, really gotten a lot out of it. And I wanted to uh, come on live because I, I think this is really cool. And uh, <laughs> I wanted to shout Nancy's praises. Oh, thank you so much. You're one of my you're greatest welcome. fans. I so appreciate that. And you know what, Allison, it was stuck because it's technology and at our ages, it's tough. And we, we kind of go, I can't learn that. I can't figure that out. I'm not, at our ages, right, we don't want to learn all this stuff. It should just be the old way. But in the end, you're not the you're, old way. It's not the old way. And you have no. to always, like, listen, I always say every personal trainer has a personal trainer. Every psychologist has a psychologist. You know, um, every business owner needs somebody. If it's not a coach that you're paying for, that's fine. Have an accountability partner. Have somebody that you can learn with and grow with and you can split the learning and teach you know something that helps you in this fast moving day and age of marketing and sales and visibility it's completely different from when we were younger and i've had some uh, and also one of your advice was to get on a committee or to to do um charity charity uh things and to become i'm now this is going to be my second year as the secretary for the Interior Design Society, which I can't even believe how I got it. But, <laughs> uh, you know, I'm glad it did. And it's really open doors. And again, I'm talking about somebody with almost 30 years of experience. And, and it's open doors for me. It's given me exposure. And uh, you're just always learning, always learning, always changing, always growing. And that's the key to life in general. And when you have your own business and you're my, I work alone, I need, I need a, sometimes a little help from other people, a little push, a little, a little pat on the back, a little, you know, here, it just, it's better in a group. It definitely is. You know what? Even I wake up some days and I go, huh, okay. Hmm. Like, what am I going to do? I'm looking at my, and I know I have a million things to do, but when you don't have to get perfectly dressed and have your makeup and get in the car and go to an office. Sometimes you think, okay, who's here for me to just chat with? Right. And apparently a lot of people, because we all want to get on to your live thing <laughs> <laughs> and get in my group. You're in my group, actionable entrepreneurs. Yeah. Cause I every go in there. I've been trying to go in there every morning, at least Monday through Friday. I'll be there tomorrow. Cause it's a five day challenge. And tomorrow's the fifth day. Um, I try to give myself a break once in a while, but you know what? I want that group to start supporting like, Hey, I'm staring at my, my, uh, you know, fingernails today. Can somebody get on and, and chat with me? And I need somebody to talk to support each other. I'm trying to do this on Facebook. I'm trying to do this on Instagram. Can't figure it out. I want that group to turn into a very supportive group of each other, and especially as it grows. We hit over 400 today. I won't be able to be the only one in there supporting everyone. So it's time where your knowledge is different from someone else's. Yeah, I've helped out other people where they've had questions and they want to know, like, listen, I have a contract. Um, this situation arose, blah, blah, blah. What do I do? It's so important. I would give advice because I've probably been there and um, I've learned, you know, had lots of lessons along the way, uh, good and bad. And what's the point if I can't give back? Yes, absolutely. You know, I, I need to, I, 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 it makes me feel really good to be able to share 
what I know and to teach other people. And I think that in that respect, that that's how you feel. It's totally and, how I feel. Yeah, it's it takes time to um, it takes time to to learn that about yourself, you know, to learn that confidence and also learn what like my girlfriend who just turned seventy. She goes, "Oh, I'm seventy. I finally think I I, I think I'm a grown up now." <laughs> never We're nonsense. Never I will never grow up. I refuse no. to grow up. <laughs> We're always and we're always growing, always learning. It doesn't matter, we, you know, we everything. are. And, I, and I've said earlier in the broadcast, and I so mean it, this um, Interior Design Society, Long Island chapter, and IDS as a whole is a group of very sharing, caring people. And it sounds so canned, but it's so true. And now as president of the so virtual true. chapter, I'm going to be able to extend it out. And I found out I missed two weeks ago we don't just have to be United States. We can be international in the virtual chapter. That's like incredible to me. I'm it's like, incredible. you're kidding. And in my group, not the group you were in, I had another group um, that I taught with Luann Nagara um, called Money, Mindset, and Sales. And we had people in there from, from the UK and Australia and one other person. I'm so sorry if she's listening. I forget where she was from. And I couldn't believe where they said they lit one of them actually had a one-on-one -on -one with me. She said, I went to a presentation the other day. Was it Australia? No, I think it was England. And it was about pricing. It was a presenter. Like if I was doing public speaking and I was in front of a bunch of people talking about how to price yourself as an interior designer, his first sentence was, um, now we're not here to look at our neighbors and, and I'm, I'm not giving a word for word, but we're not here to look at each other and exchange pricing and how we do it. I'm here to teach you a business model. And she was so frustrated because in her country, people don't share. She literally had no idea whether she priced things similar or different from other people. And she loves dealing with people here in the States because we are, uh, we share. Yeah. You know, that's one of the hardest things with the interior designers. Uh, I think um, one of the other girls was mentioning that they can be very closed lipped and closed mouth and not want to tell you how to charge an hour. And, but you know, somebody, in, sometimes, you know, I just don't know what to charge. I don't know. Somebody tell me, somebody give me an answer, please. But now so why, I, why do you feel people are like that? You think, because I, again, I'm big on, there was no such thing as competition. You could literally walk down the street with another designer who does exactly what you do. Talk to the same exact person. That person is going to be attracted to you or the other designer based on your messaging, your, the way you use your words, your enthusiasm, your body language, what everything, you, everything, right? Your look, I hate to say, right. But it's not necessarily competition. There isn't, like Betsy just said, thank you, Betsy. There's enough work to go around. That's why I'll do webinars with other coaches. I'll do interview series with other coaches. I don't care about that. If you felt more comfortable with them, then you would go to them. And if one of their people on their list or their followers feels like they relate to my message, then they come to me. And that's the beauty of it. And it's the same with interior designers. Well, what's interesting is that the IDS um, is very, I mean, it's very, uh, people aren't uppity like that. The designers are more uh, inclusive. Yes. Uh, and uh, I think that what I'm seeing through this Facebook Live and through the internet and through the, what's happening, it's almost like the world is so big yet it's so it's small technical, yet everybody's really wanting to be personal and wanting to come together it's interesting that people from another country where they might we might think oh they'll say this about americans they want to know from us we want to know from them absolutely so for, for what's become so um global has also become very intimate i think um the fact that people want to know me prior to hiring me, they want to, they want to see me on live. It's almost like, oh, if you have no internet presence and you're not on Facebook and you don't have a website, well, then you're nothing. You're, you're, isn't you're that interesting? Somebody, but 
you're not anybody to me because who who are you? And it never was like that before. Well, I think never. there's another component, and then I realized we're over time. But uh, and I want to respect everyone's time. I talk, I talk. I'm a talker. Uh, me too. The two of us together could talk for hours. Um, the the thing is that when you go live, and when you have a presence on Facebook and do videos, it exudes a feeling of confidence and people want to hire people with confidence. Yeah. And unfortunately for some confidence comes, it takes longer than than others. It does. Listen, I was shaking in my shoes the first time I did a Facebook live. And until I did it three or four times, I was like, Oh my God, I suck at it. Thank God. Nobody was watching. <laughs> You know, now there's now we hit 1500 watchers in, in a week sometimes or more, which is so awesome. But in the beginning, remember, if you want to try this, nobody's watching in the beginning. So that's your good practice time. And you invite guests on and they make you feel at home. So you have someone to talk to. I think the hardest thing for me was talking to the screen without anyone being on the other side. Hi, PJ. I yeah, I think we also have to realize we're just like everybody else, and everybody else is scared. Everybody else feels a little bit funny. For everybody who you think is confident, maybe not be confident, and we're just really all the same. They're not and confident in every area of their life. I might be fine doing this. When I talk business, it makes the fact that I was laying on the floor crying my eyes out when I hurt my back today you know, go away. <laughs> Right. right, because when I talk business, that's what I love. That's as a business coach, that puts that gets me my confidence back. And when I'm shoveling shit snow and I'm laying on the ground with a backache, I'm like, this sucks. So yeah, not everybody is a hundred percent all the time. Let let yourself show is the point of this whole this whole broadcast tonight. It was great. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Thanks, Allison. Tell them how they can find you. Well, I'm on Facebook. The name of my company is Solara Designs, a kitchen and bath design specialist. My name is Allison Solar. I know it's like everybody calls me Allison Solara, but it's not <laughs> Solar, like the sun, S-O-L-A-R. And, um, and I am here on Long Island. I'm located in Nassau County. And if you Google my name, you can find me. <laughs> and you can find me. Okay. Well, go enjoy your dinner with your hubby. Thanks for being here with us today. Thanks. And thank you, everyone who's watching. I'm Nancy Gansicall for Business Coach to Interior Designers, Creative Entrepreneurs, uh, and Online Coaches. Love, and Love you. Love thank you Love so you. much, Allison. All right. I enjoy your weekend. Stay warm. I'm going to try to shovel a couple more scoops and then I'm done. I don't care how long it lasts. <laughs> okay. Be okay. Well. All right. You too. Bye everybody. Uh, thanks for being here today. I think this was a great, Oh, do we have somebody else wants to be tagged? Oh, Allison wants to be tagged. Um, thanks for being here today. This is every Friday at 4.30 Eastern Standard Time, Weekend Wind Down with Nancy. Next week, I actually think I have a guest coach, but I'll try to do, uh, thank you, Sam. Thank you, Betsy. Debbie, I did see your message. What did you say? Uh, it should be a community over competition. Absolutely. And John, IDS, warm and fuzzy. Definitely. Thank you so much for being with, here with me today. I love doing this call in style. I think I have a guest next week for sure. And then after that, I might just go back to call in style. So if you like this style, just give me a thumbs up, give me hearts, share the broadcast so I know that this is the way that uh, you guys enjoy the most and I can bring you guys on and off. You can talk about yourselves, ask me anything. Um, and I really like it this way. So uh, have a great weekend. Thanks, John. And stay warm if you're here on the East Coast and enjoy and cheers to everyone. Weekend Wind Down with Nancy is over. See you next week. Bye.